Hey everybody, Coach Anthony Williams, founder and CEO of Connected Athletics. We are a startup uh, company based here in Austin, Texas. We're focused on helping student athletes connect with other student athletes during the recruiting process. Also helping them connect with college coaches during this pandemic uh, cycle of recruiting that we're in right now. But most importantly, what we're focused on is making sure that student athletes successfully transition from high school to college and then into a career once their eligibility is over. Uh, we have got a prospect with us on the podcast tonight, somebody I've gotten that I've been blessed to know uh, since he was in middle school. I've seen him at so many camps. I've seen his heart and his desire and his technique just improve year in and year out. Uh, Houston Horton is a class of 22 uh, linebacker who also long snaps, which we'll talk about later. He's here at Austin Westlake High School. He's 5'10", 170 pounds, but don't let that fool you. He hits like a Mack truck. He's got a 3.2 GPA. Uh, he was a FBU Adidas freshman All-American, part of the group that I'm with. Uh, and he's a two-time uh, Texas 7-on-7 seven seven state champion there at Westlake. Houston, how are you doing this, at, this evening? I'm doing fantastic, Coach. And I'm so excited to have uh, these coaches and others uh, hear your story because it is a very interesting story about the little kid who hits like he's six foot five, 300 pounds. So let's, let's get into it and let these coaches know more about you personally. Uh, obviously, you know, you've heard me say many times at camp, the um, academics are everything. Uh, you've got a really good 3.2 GPA. Tell these coaches about the importance that you put on your academics. Well, uh, my parents and my family have always put sports before, uh, they have always put school before sports. They've always done that. Uh, they've always told me to strive uh, for academics before uh, anything uh, athletically. Yeah, and, absolutely. And so, so are there, uh, what, do you have some favorite subjects in class that drive the GPA? Are you a math guy, science, or what? Oh, I love history. I love history. Okay. Uh, I mean, history tends to repeat itself. So yeah. I just going uh, the past so that you don't repeat it in the present. So, yeah, I like that. Do you, uh, do you have any teachers? I know there's a lot of great teachers at Westlake. Do you have any teachers or tutors or coaches or uh, APs that you want to shout out that's going to help you stay uh, on, your, on a good academic path? Um, it was actually my sophomore science teacher. He, uh, he really helped me relate uh, school, like everything, not just science, like school completely to, to football. Um, and it really helped me get my get my grades up because my GPA wasn't too hot at the beginning, but he really helped me get on track. Absolutely. Okay. And then tell these coaches, uh, Houston, what kind of student are you? Are you the, are you the same? Do you have the same a passion for becoming the best linebacker you can be also being the best student? What, you, what kind of student are you? Um, I feel like I'm driven and I go 100%, uh, whether it's in football practice, a football game, or in the classroom. Okay. And then what are you doing to kind of help that? What do you, let me ask you this. What do you do? Uh, it's obviously when you get an A in a class, it's great. But when you're struggling in the class, what are some of your best practices to help you uh, improve a grade in a class that you might be struggling in? Uh, I just kind of shut myself away. If I see that I have a bad grade in a class, I just specifically focus on that subject for that test and just focus on a grade that could get uh, that average up. Okay. Uh, have you thought about what you, I know you're two years away from college, still going your, in your junior year right now, but have you thought about what you might want to major in when you get to college? Um, I've always wanted to major in uh, like marketing or sports management or something like that because I'd still love to be involved in the game once I stepped away. Okay, good stuff. Have you kind of put together a list based on what schools have some of the top uh, sports management or, or, or sports programming uh, majors in the country? Um, uh, not quite. I've sort of checked and saw if they, uh, if they had the major that I, that I was looking for. Uh, but I haven't dove that deep into it. Uh, I'm just trying to, trying to get recruited and trying to get my name out there. Yeah, absolutely. I like it. Um, you know what, another thing that's important is, you know, coaches want to understand about a player's learning style. Tell these coaches, are you more of a verbal, visual, or hands-on learning style? Um, uh, I'm very hands-on. Like, uh, I, I like something that I can, like, feel or do or uh, it really helps me process it a lot better. Okay. And then what kind of body language do you have in the class? Are you one of those guys that likes to sit up front and be, you know, engaged in the conversation in class? Or are you one of those guys that just sits in the back? Well, tell these coaches what kind of 
What's your what's your body language and your your uh, your, uh, your your preparation in class for each of your classes? Um, I feel like I I like sitting uh, sitting in the front. I like uh, paying attention. Uh, I kind of like to lighten the mood because I know sometimes it can get awkward. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I just I love uh, driving the conversation. I mean, I'm just uh, outgoing uh, with the teachers and everything because I know not all the students are like that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You know, work ethic is something we talk about a lot in football, but coaches want to see, do you, would you say that you have the same work ethic on the football field that you do in the classroom? Uh, yes. I mean, I stay up till uh, late at night after practice studying and trying to prepare for my tests and quizzes for every subject. Uh, I don't just kind of blow one off and just say, I'll try to wing it. I just try to study and apply myself to every course that I do. That's awesome. That's a great response. Hey, let's switch over to getting know, to know you a little bit more personally. Uh, tell us uh, when you're not working out, getting ready for the season or not during the season, what do you do in your spare time? What kind of interests, what kind of hobbies? Do you like to fish? you like to hunt, hang out with friends? What do you do in your spare time? Um, actually, you hit the nail right on the head. I mean, uh, I love hunting. I love fishing. Um, I spend a lot of time with my family. Uh, uh, I like training dogs. I train dogs uh, in my spare time. How I make money and everything. It's it's uh, yeah, I love it. Okay, tell us uh, the last time you went fishing, or what's what's the biggest fish you ever caught? What kind was it? Uh, the biggest fish I ever caught was in Colorado. I was fly fishing, and uh, and I caught uh, a thirty inch rainbow trout. Nice. Did you keep it or throw it back? Uh, it was a catch and release river. Okay, gotcha. And then, are you uh, are you a video game guy? Uh, what do you are you a Madden or two K guy? Or you don't have time for that stuff. Oh, uh, I actually feel like Madden really helps me like understand coverages and everything like that. Uh, like I feel like it really helped me understand understand my coverages whenever I was stuck. <laughs> so yeah, I played Madden a lot. Okay. Uh, it, it begs the question. I always ask the players: Are you giving L's? Or are you taking L's in Madden? Oh, I'm giving L's. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I rarely take L's. I only take W's. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then also, you know, recruiting is taking place more on social media and different apps now. Tell these coaches if they want to connect with you. Uh, are you more of a Twitter guy, Instagram? Are you on TikTok or Snap? Which which ones do you use the most? Um, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I'm on both of those fairly often. Okay. And then tell us uh, a couple of your favorites here. What's your all-time favorite football movie? I'd have to say probably Rudy. Okay. That's the first time I've heard that one. That's a good one. That's old school. Uh, what about, what's your favorite uh, food? What do you like to eat? Favorite food? Oh, uh, I mean, I love steak. Steak is my absolute favorite. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Putting on the protein, trying to get bigger. I understand that. And then lastly, uh, music taste. There's not a teenager I know that doesn't have a favorite music artist. Who's your, who's your favorite artist and what kind of genre of music do you like? Um, uh, it might surprise you, but I'm, uh, I'm really into old school country music. Okay. So I like, uh, I like Johnny Cash a lot. Johnny okay, Cash. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Good stuff. Hey, uh, tell us somebody, tell us about a person outside your family that's had a positive impact on you. Who is that person? Mm, he's not a part of my family, but he has been a big part of my life. It's probably my godfather. Um, uh, he was my mom and dad's personal trainer, and then he ended up becoming a big part of uh, me and my siblings' lives and is really uh, a godly, um, uh, just amazing man that has taught me a lot of wonderful things. Awesome. Hey, let's say you get on to college here, and you have a, uh, four great years in college, and you find yourself in New York City at the NFL draft, who is sitting with you at your table waiting for the commissioner to call your name? Who's there with you? Uh, I would have to say uh, my dad, um, uh, uh, Tim Cole. He's a uh, Texas uh, linebacker that I trained with for a while. Um, uh, Jimmer, he's, he's one of my close family friends that's, uh, that's helped me a lot and gaining weight and everything. He's helped me walk through it. Um, and then uh, my mom because she's always there for me. Yeah, okay, that's a good list. Hey, Houston, tell us, you know, obviously we all know, and you've heard me say it a million times, football will come to an end one day. Would, tell these coaches, what do you want your life to look like personally 
and professionally uh, when the game is finally done, whenever that is? I mean, uh, I just, I want to go out on my own terms. Like, I don't want to be like my career ended by an injury or anything like that. So, I mean, I just want to be satisfied with my career. Um, uh, and uh, I, uh, I still want to be involved in the sport, as I said before. I mean, like, I would want to be like a manager or maybe like a coach or a trainer or something like that. Okay, that's good stuff. And then personally, do you, I mean, do you want to get married one day and have kids and, or no, oh. or do you want to stay single or what? <laughs> well, uh, of course, I would, uh, I would love to get married and have kids. I mean, like, that's most everyone's dream. Okay, good stuff. Hey, uh, tell us, you know, communicating with coaches and teammates is vitally important on a team. Uh, tell these coaches, how do you communicate now with your current teammates and your coaches? Are you like, hey, call me, let's talk about it? Or are you a text me guy? Or you let's do it over a Zoom? Or how do you like to best communicate? Um, uh, I like communicating mostly over Zoom because you can kind of like connect a little bit better than just hearing somebody's voice or, or reading someone's text. Um, uh, I like kind of trying to read a person to see if they understand because, you know, somebody can just say, yeah, man, I got it. And then they don't right. really understand at all. <laughs> so. Okay. I like it. That's good. Hey, uh, switching over to recruiting now as we finish up, uh, you know, tell these coaches, what kind of teammate are you? How would your teammates at Westlake describe you as a teammate? Um, I would hope to say that I'm a leader. Um, uh, I try not to offend anybody, but sometimes I want to get my point across. Um, uh, so I feel like they think that I'm pretty intense uh, because he, even during practice, I get I get pretty intense and emotional. Okay. What else? What other, what, what else would teammates say about you? Um, I would hope they say I'm funny. At least I try to be funny. I try to crack a couple of jokes during practice. Um, okay. uh, yeah, I mean, I felt, like to feel like I'm an entertainer. I like to play around with the coaches and, uh, and my teammates a lot. Yeah, so it's not like you have balance. You, you know when it's time to put work in, but you also can keep it light and, and lighten the mood when, when necessary, huh? Yes, sir, definitely. Yeah. Hey, Houston, tell us, how do you describe leadership, how do you define leadership, and how do you plan on leading going into your junior year here? Um, I describe leadership as uh, picking everyone up on the team, no matter how good or bad they are, no matter if, the, if it's their first day or if it's their eighth year in the game. You need to support and, uh, and carry everybody um, uh, no matter what. And uh, to, to try to lead, I'm going to try to, you know, lead by example. And, uh, and I know that some of the seniors uh, are, are still going to be a little bit ahead of me. But, uh, but I am going to try to lead uh, vocally, too, as, as well. I have to admit, Houston, I have, like I said, I've known you for a while. And I know how you play. You, you played great in the FBU uh, Freshman All-American game a couple years ago. You're an undersized linebacker, but you hit like you're 6'2", 200 pounds. I have seen teams and the fans respond when you knock the crap out of somebody. People always say, where'd that little guy come from? Tell us about your mentality of being, you know, slightly undersized, but still, you know, bringing a, a, a pretty good punch when you uh, when you play the game. I mean, uh, I know that uh, I can lift as much as somebody who's six two two hundred. I work constantly to make up for my size and my weight, which is pure br uh, brutal strength. And and my mentality has always been like my dad has always had me play a grade above. He's always had me uh, push myself. So going up against these bigger guys really ain't nothing. Okay. Tell us, so you talked about the weight room, and I was going to ask you, you know, coaches want to know, are you, is he a weight room guy? Obviously you are, but tell us, uh, you know, do you have, I know COVID-19 has kind of shut things down, but what are some of your, your PRs in the weight room? What do you bench? What do you squat? Let these coaches know how strong you are. Um, uh, my bench max is 230. Um, uh, my squat max is 455. Wow. And uh, my power clean max is 225. I mean, that's extremely strong for somebody who's, you know, 5'10 and 170. That, that's, that's very impressive. Let's talk about size a little bit. Obviously, I know, uh, you, you know you've been trying to, you know, grow and be as strong as you can. But, uh, you know, growth spurt, I mean, uh, your dad's a good-sized guy. What do you think your height and weight will be by the time you graduate from Westlake in a year and a half? I mean, I'm hoping I'm growing a little bit. I've gone on a program to, uh, 20 pounds. I mean, uh, 
Hey, Houston, you were breaking up there. Your signal got a little weak. Uh, go ahead and, and repeat that answer. What do you think your height weight will be with that, with that description you just gave us? We couldn't hear you. Uh, I'm not I'm growing more. I mean, it would be good. Uh, but, uh... So, Houston, before our technical difficulties, we were talking about, uh, your, you know, your size, the linebacker, and how you bring it uh, undersized. But, I, but I'm sure coaches would want to know uh, not knowing your family background, what do you think your height and weight will be by the time you graduate from Westlake? Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to grow a little bit more since my dad is 6'2". Um, uh, but even if I don't, I should be weighing uh, close to 190 to 200 by the end of my uh, senior year. Okay, good stuff. Hey, so I mentioned I gave the, the coaches here a little bit of insight about how you play the position, but, but in your own words, tell us what do you consider some of your strengths and what are some of the things you're working on going into your junior year as an outside linebacker? Um, uh, I am very uh, agile. Uh, I've worked a lot on my lateral movement and my explosiveness and my short little bursts. Um, uh, what I need to work on, like my weaknesses are not being very heavy. Like I'm not, uh, I'm not the biggest guy out there. Uh, so my goal is to try to gain some weight, uh, like upwards of like 20 to 25 pounds. Okay. Uh, one thing the coaches that love is guys that are involved in special teams. I know you used to long snap, but tell us uh, what role do you play on special teams and do you like playing on special teams? Oh, I love special teams. Uh, I've, uh, I played kick return, punt return, kickoff. Uh, I, was, uh, I, w I was on the punt team as both a long snapper and, uh, and a gunner on the, on the edge. And uh, uh, I take long snapping pretty seriously as well. Awesome. You know, coaches are concerned about players and their, their relationship with their high school coaches. Um, tell us a little bit about your relationship with your position coach and Coach Dodge, the head coach at, at Westlake. Um, uh, I feel like we have a pretty good relationship. Um, uh, I just feel like sometimes they don't realize my, uh, my full potential. Uh, I, feel like, uh, I feel like they could give me a little bit more of a shot, but uh, I do have an amazing relationship with my linebacker coach and the head coaches at Westlake. Perfect. Okay. And then tell us a little bit about, um, you know, there, there are two types of players. There's players that love playing the game, and then there are players that love practicing and playing the game. Which one are you? I am definitely, uh, I love practicing. You can always get better. Uh, and I find that practice helps you in the game. I mean, uh, uh, the more practice you have, the better you're going to do in the game. Yeah, absolutely. And then tell us, hey, are you a film guy? Or are you uh, somebody that kind of goes, goes by the scouting report and just plays? Or do you like to watch a lot of film uh, leading up to each game? I love film. I mean, like, in my opinion, uh, film should be, like, borderline illegal. <laughs> <laughs> because you can tell, just you can just tell what they're gonna do just by what they line up in. Uh, I watch film all the way up until like I get off the bus. Like yeah. I evaluate, and I also watch film on myself to try to see where I can improve and what I can Dude. do better. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Uh, is there a certain linebacker at the college or NFL level that you pattern your game off of, and who is that? Um, I would probably say Lawrence Taylor, uh, because I, uh, I love blitzing off the edge and, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Uh, and I just, uh, I feel like, uh, I'm relentless, uh, to the pursuit of the ball. Okay. That's a great exam. I mean, one of the best to ever rush the pass off the edge is Lawrence Taylor. So that's a, that's a good role model to have, obviously. Uh, another big part of recruiting in Houston, as you know, is, you know, uh, overcoming adversity in, in um, you know, coaches are always asking, you know, give us an example of a time in your life when you had to overcome either some type of personal or something, some kind of adversity that had to do with football. Um, I mean, like you said, I wasn't the biggest guy. Like, uh, like whenever I stood on uh, uh, onto the practice field, like people didn't see like that 6'5", 230 guy. Um, like I had to, I had to work my way through the ranks just by the way I played and them watching me play. I couldn't just walk up and have them put me on varsity. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you've done a good job of just doing that. Um, tell us, you know, being coachable is a big part of being a student athlete. If you want to be successful, tell us, uh, describe how you are coachable uh, as, a, as a player. Um, I feel like I'm uh, coachability is being able to adjust to what the coach tells you the first time.
Okay. And then what else, uh, as far as, you know, what do you like? Uh, how do you like to be coached? Are you, uh, do you mind a coach getting in your face and challenging you and maybe using some, you know, some aggressive language or you prefer a coach kind of pat you in the back, tell you what you need to do and not get out there and, and fix it? Oh, I've, I've taken both. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't I don't really have a preference I mean however a coach wants to coach me I'm just grateful that he's given me the time of day yeah that's a great answer that's a great answer hey uh lastly we, we finish up here tonight I appreciate your time here uh you know college coaches love coaching players who are naturally competitive uh, tell these coaches about uh, your competitive spirit what makes you so competitive playing this game I mean uh, I've always been underestimated um I've always uh played with a chip on my shoulder so uh, I, I've always played uh, intense in trying to prove, uh, prove uh, who I am and trying to prove that I, that I do belong out there with the best of them. Yeah, uh, that's definitely something I could – you're dead on accurate on that. You do that. Hey, we talked about as we finish up here the elevator pitch. Uh, coaches love hearing from players in their own words. Tell these coaches in 15 to 20 seconds, Houston, why they should recruit you and what you're going to bring to their program. Um, I can play uh, all every skill position on the team. I can play on every single special teams. Um, uh, I am very versatile. Um, I'm fast. I'm strong. Uh, I can do anything that you ask me to do, and I will outwork and out hustle anybody to get where I need to be. Uh, and I will do anything you ask me to do to uh, to get where you want me to be and at whatever position you want me to be. All right, that's that's a great great elevator pitch. Well, Houston, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. I'll be on the sidelines uh, here pretty soon. Hopefully, catch you guys at a game and watching you and and Caden and and, and Jaden and some of the guys there. Continue to be safe. I know you're going to work hard, and I'm expecting you to see some great things from you at linebacker. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Tell the family I said hi, and I'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, coach. All right. All right thanks.